welcome to today's video. My name is Annika and I design knitting patterns. I teach knitting workshops online and in person and I sell pretty yarns and my yarn shops have been empty uh, because I've done a really big show um, weekend before last I was a yarn there and then this last weekend I was at a local few bags for wool market and I'm just starting to put stuff back. That yarn there is my stash but the other shelves are yarn. You're usually full, usually full of Manus and Uruguay yarns and then my um, sample yarns go in some boxes on the other side of my office um, but I haven't I started putting stuff away last night but I haven't finished I'm trying to have a rule that every time I come upstairs I take one or two boxes of yarn with me and put them in my office and then I can put them away when I got time so welcome to today's video I thought I would film like a daily vlog today because I got quite a lot of stuff on quite varied stuff on it is a sunny Monday morning in Cornwall it's really warm yesterday and nice and sunny yesterday and quite warm um so I'm hoping it'll be warm today as well I'm quite warm this morning so apologies if I look a bit hot because I work out um most mornings and even though I've had a shower <laughs> cool shower I still feel quite warm uh so if I look a bit hot that's why um, so yeah, I thought today would be a good idea to do a daily vlog so I got quite a lot of stuff to do So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and please leave me a comment um, So this is part of my vlogtober series. I'm not intending to do daily videos um, Although I'm getting off to quite a good start. I don't know whether this will be posted today. I've got another video coming tomorrow which is um, I think it was how to weave in ends and block the weaving ends for a brioche project and how I blocked my uh, Trenor brioche Mobius cow. So I think that's scheduled to come tomorrow. And then the first day there will be a video, a vlog from Yarndale and just kind of like a podcast episode catching up on my knitting, what I've been doing, what I finished, what I've started and uh, quite a bit from Yarndale, that kind of thing. So that's coming on Thursday. So I'm hoping I might get this up this evening. Depends on how much I record. If I record too much and I have to edit it on my computer, then it won't be up till Wednesday. Um, got quite a busy week. The first thing I've got to do this morning is to prepare and pack for my workshop tomorrow. That means just checking whether I need to print out the notes uh, and pack all the stuff I need. It's a workshop I've taught loads of times before, so it doesn't really take a huge amount of preparation. But it's my stranded colour work workshop and it's only a half day workshop, so I think it's two and a half hours. Um, so it's not too much to do and then um, I am working on some notes for a new workshop I'm teaching this weekend I've got a two-day workshop coming up Friday and Saturday at the Knitting Hotel in Dawlish and it's my Shaping Shorts workshop which I have taught before but it's quite a few years ago and it was a one-day workshop and I've completely revamped it um, because it's two days and a lot of the knitters at Knitting Hotel are quite experienced knitters not all of them are but quite a few of them are so I'm including a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, and I started working on my notes months ago and then I kind of got busy and sidetracked. Then I looked at them last week and I'm like, oops, that's quite still left to do. So I was working on them a lot this last week. So today I just need to go through them and fill in any gaps. So I set aside like an hour and a half, I think, for that. Um, and hopefully that will polish them off and then I can just check them on Wednesday probably and print them so that's my plan um and then i want to film a couple of tutorials hopefully well one's a tutorial uh one is um a lesson to an additional lesson for my continental knitting online course so in my online continental knitting course i show how to do the continental lift stitch how to do the continental pearl stitch and the norwegian pearl stitch and the long tail continental cast on and then i also have some additional lessons on how to knit cables and lace continental style so it's not teaching you how to do uh, how to do cables and lace. It's just showing you how to do it continental style. And I wanted to do the same for brioche. Uh, so I'm doing. I need to record just a short, probably ten minute lesson on how to uh, knit brioche continental style. Um, so it's not a how to knit brioche lesson. It's just if you already know how to do brioche, how you do continental style for those who are taking the course. So I'll put the link to the course below. So if you're interested, in fact, if you go on my website and click on workshop and online courses, I think the page is called, you can find all my online courses there. One thing I didn't mention yesterday, which I will mention today, is that I currently have 10% off everything from my online shop. So that includes yarn. Um, 
I have a lot more than that what's there by the way but uh, it's still packed away um so 10 percent off yarn my books i only have two copies of easy lace knits left at the moment i don't have any beaded lace knitting i tried to order them at the end of august and i only got a few copies of easy lace knits so i need to chase that up and order some more um so there's two copies of easy lace knits if you want that and there's there are beads, there are crochet hooks for adding beads, and there are some pretty stitch markers, which I don't have here. Pretty hard shaped stitch marker, which I really like. So there's a variety of stuff in the shop, but mostly there's lots of pretty yarn. Um, maybe I'll talk a bit more about the yarn in a video later in the week. But there is 10% off at the moment. The code is AUTUMN10. AUTUMN10, so that's A-U-T-U-M-N-1-0, or one word. And it's valid, I think it's valid until the 10th of October. And then any orders I get, will I'll post on the 11th of October. And then after the 11th of October, I won't be posting anything for like a week because I'm um, going to Spain for a week. Um, I need to wind some yarn today so I can finish this sweater I'm working on. I need to do lots of knitting today because i got to finish this sleeve on a sweater. I have a deadline. I think it's Wednesday. Um, so really I should post the sweater tomorrow which means I should finish it today and I have still about that much on one sleeve left to do and then I have the whole other sleeve. So my goal today is to finish the first sleeve and do the short row sleeve cap because the sleeves are done top down, short row sleeve cap on the second sleeve and hopefully make a start on the sleeve and then get the rest of the second sleeve done tomorrow so I need to email the editor and say can I be a day late. Um, I need to work on a design submission because the same magazine has a design submission deadline on Wednesday so I need to work on that today so I need to knit some swatches for that I have some ideas I may actually also film that as a separate kind of vlog um, that's it I want to film a tutorial hopefully so when I film the lessons for my online course I also hoping to film a tutorial on how to do the clasp weft join for uh, brioche knitting so I use that in my Trenor cow um so yeah I've got a lot to do today I've got to walk the dog so first I'm going to do about half an hour of uh, work on my computer and print out the notes I need for tomorrow and pack my bag for tomorrow and then walk the dog and then get on with everything else I look I don't know whether I said this because I've recorded this bit three times now <laughs> but if I look a little bit hot it's because I work out most mornings and I get quite hot and although I had a cool shower I'm still warm so um, I might open the window and cool down a bit but I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and uh, leave me a comment subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and like please give the video a thumbs up if you like it It is now after lunch, I had a quite a late lunch today, uh, popped into town very quickly to run a couple of errands and go to the post office and then I came home and I had a very quick lunch. So I'm now about to do some filming, 
I look a bit of a mess because I haven't brushed my hair since this morning and I've walked a dog and I've run into town. It looks like it's going to start raining now. It's not sunny anymore. Um, so I'm going to film uh, a lesson for my online continental knitting course on how to do brioche, basic brioche stitches, continental style. I'll put the link to the on my online courses uh, below this video if you want to have a look at it. I'm just resting. I'm holding my phone in my hand rather than using my tripod, which was a bad idea. But I got quite bad pain in my right shoulder today. And I think it's because it's just been a busy week last week. Um, and I did a lot of knitting yesterday. I've been told this sweater I need to finish the sleeves on. I've emailed the editor and I found out when the photo shoot is. So as long as she gets it by next Monday, it should be fine. But I'm hoping to get it in the post. I'd like to get in the post on Wednesday. But I know i got a little bit longer if I need it. Um, I still want to crack on and get it done because I've got other stuff I need to move on to. But my right shoulder is really hurting. And when I was winding the yarn that I need to finish the sleeve earlier, I was really struggling. I wanted to wind um, these silk blend skeins as well, but I can't because I'm just my shoulder is just hurting too much. So holding my phone up in the, my right hand was a bad idea. So I'm just resting my elbow on the table so my shoulder hurts less. So I do have to knit all evening um, to get these sleeves done, but I will probably try and not knit as fast as I did last night. Yesterday I was just knitting at full speed all afternoon from when we came back. We had a good appointment yesterday to get our vaccines, our COVID vaccines. So we came back about half past three, I guess. And from then till I went to bed at nine, I just knitted nonstop. <laughs> and it was probably a bit much. So... I'm going to go and do a bit of admin and then I'm going to call it a day and do lots more knitting. Okay, so I did film on the dining room table, which is a bit of a tip at the moment. So that's my light. There we go, that's the right light. Got a sweater there that I was trying to get Emily to model for me yesterday. I've got some yarn there that I need to wind. Got the yarn I bought on Saturday in the project bag there. Got my ball winder still up. I got another sweater, old sweater on the dress form. This is my um, tabletop tripod. So I put my phone in there and then I film. And I have this wooden um, board that I bought years ago for as a photo backdrop. And then I've got my knitting there. So I'm filming two brioche related uh, short videos one is a tutorial for the clasp wife join and one is a basic brioche lesson for my continental knitting course um so i'm going to set this up now and then get filming Okay, so I finished this tutorial now. Um, I've got my cowl out. I have to put my bracelets back on. These bangles kind of knock on the um, wood when I am filming, so I always have to remember to take those off. My other bracelet, which is my Pandora bracelet, is okay because that's not as big, but these are quite big because they have to go over my hands and they always end up like, knocking on the table when I'm filming, so I took those off. So I'm going to tidy up here now, then I'm going to go upstairs and do a little bit more work in my office. I have to do um, a bit of admin and then I'm going to knit for the rest of the day. So it's the end of the day, it's about four o'clock and I normally try and finish work by four o'clock and I sit down and I watch The Real Housewives because uh, that's on TV between four and six. Um, I've got my, I'll just grab it without dropping my selfie stick, I've got my knitting project here. I'm going to try and finish the first sleeve and pick up stitches for the second sleeve. I also have my new project bag, which I got over the weekend, uh, which I fold tilt 
full of yarn. Um, I have a design submission I need to work on for a magazine, uh, which I need to submit by Wednesday. So I really need to do that tomorrow afternoon. So I'm going to knit the swatches for that. So I need to knit at least two swatches. Not 100% sure yet what I'm going to do. I need to look at the kind of um, uh, Pinterest board that the editor sent through and have a look and see exactly what she was asking again and then come up with some ideas and then get that the swatches knitted tonight so I can block them and then tomorrow afternoon after my workshop so I'm teaching tomorrow morning after my workshop I can do the sketches and put those design submissions together so I hope you enjoyed today's video um got quite a lot done today I think I got almost everything on my to-do list done um got loads of stuff done on my uh, notes for my big workshop this weekend where I'm teaching two days. I've got a few emails to reply to. I'm still really behind on emails. So if you're waiting for an email from me, I do apologize. I will catch up eventually. I need to try and catch up by next Tuesday, well, next Monday really, because then I'm going to be away for a week. So if I haven't caught up by then, there's no hope. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe if you haven't already and please leave me a comment and uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.